What if you could save up to 20 hours per week in your business without having to hire a VA, admin, cyber backer, or an assistant of any kind? Well, you can. In this video, I'm going to walk you through one of the greatest productivity tools to ever be created, ChatGPT. In this video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know to get started using ChatGPT. And it doesn't matter if you have zero tech experience or zero AI experience. If you're not tech savvy, none of that matters. I'm going to walk you through step by step. And because I know your time is super valuable, I included timestamps down below. So without further ado, here's what we're covering in this video. We're going to start off by walking you through how to access the official ChatGPT and create your free account. Then we're going to get into how to find the official ChatGPT app so you don't ever have to pay to use ChatGPT on your phone. Then we're going to walk you through step by step how to navigate through ChatGPT. And if you stick around to the end, I got a bonus feature that I'm going to share with you guys. It's going to help ChatGPT become so much more personalized and make the responses so much better. So that being said, let's get right into this video. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go on to a new browser. It doesn't matter if you have Google, Safari, Firefox, doesn't matter. We're going to type in, in the search bar www.openai.com. Hit enter. Boom. This is what the official OpenAI website looks like. As of right now, today's currently August 6th. So this is what it looks like as of right now, right? And it has this little screen that changes, right? Boom. So in order to access ChatGPT, what we're going to do is we're gonna, so you see products. We're going to click on products. We're going to go to where it says ChatGPT login. And we're going to click on login. Once you click on login, you'll land on a screen that looks something like this. And from here, all you're going to do is click on where it says sign up. Now, you can decide how you want to sign up. You can use your email, Google account, Microsoft, Apple, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm going to, I already have a ChatGPT account, so I'm just going to log right into mine. And boom, once you log in and you create an account, you land on the main ChatGPT page, which looks a little something like this. Now, the reason I want to show you guys where to go to find the official ChatGPT is because if you look on, if you go into Google and you just type in ChatGPT, you'll find hundreds of different, different websites that say powered by ChatGPT or using ChatGPT or ChatGPT bot or something like that. And what happens is that OpenAI, the company that made ChatGPT, they allow other companies to use the ChatGPT software. Right? Not to get too tech savvy, I think it's called like the API key. So they allow people to use their API key to build softwares and websites and apps using ChatGPT. And so you see a lot of websites that say, oh, powered by ChatGPT. They're not owned by OpenAI. They're just people using the ChatGPT software. Not to say any of those websites are bad, but as I said, they're not the official one. This is how you access ChatGPT officially. Now, I'm gonna take you guys back a little bit because that same problem happens on the phone. If you go into the App Store or the Google Play Store and you search up ChatGPT, you'll find a bunch of apps, some apps that even rank higher than the official ChatGPT app. Right? Some apps will be sponsored and they're ranked and placed above. And if people will download those apps instead of the official OpenAI app, and then it'll be like, oh, you know, all you gotta do is pay 10 bucks a month or pay 100 bucks for the year and you can access ChatGPT. And I know countless people that have paid, you know, 10 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks to use ChatGPT. And yes, ChatGPT has a paid plan, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But ChatGPT is 100% free to use, right? 100% free to use. You never have to pay to use it. Yes, there is a paid option if you want to get more features and benefits, but you don't have to. So if any website or software or app is forcing you to pay, they're most likely not the official ChatGPT app. All right, from here, I'm going to take you back. So if you want to find a ChatGPT app, all you're going to have to do is go back to the official OpenAI website, openai.com. And again, it'll look a little something like this right here. It'll look a little something like this. You go where it says products. Then you click on ChatGPT for everyone. Now you're going to click on where it says download the app. And now as you can see, you have two options here. You have for mobile and for desktop. As of right now, ChatGPT has a desktop app only available for like MacBooks, Mac, Mac OS pretty much. Uh, we're not going to cover that in this video. But right now, we're focusing on here mobile. Chat on the go, have voice conversations, and ask about photos. So there's a bunch of other features that you have on the phone that you don't have on the computer. So if you guys want me to walk through a step-by-step -step what it's like to use ChatGPT on your phone, let me know in the comments right now. Comment down below, and I can make a walkthrough video on how to navigate ChatGPT on your phone. For today, we're just focusing on the desktop. But here you, you see App Store, Google Play Store, whatever device you have, you'll click on that link. And it'll take you to the official OpenAI ChatGPT app for you to download. All right. So I just looked up the official ChatGPT app. And this is what it looks like on iPhone. Let's see if the camera can focus. There we go. It'll look a little something like this on the if you have an iPhone. So if it doesn't look anything like this, 
You probably got the wrong app. Alrighty, so now that we covered how to find the official ChatGPT both on your desktop and on your phone, on your mobile device, now let's get into the walkthrough of how to use ChatGPT, how to navigate ChatGPT, because it can be super complicated, especially if you never used an AI platform before. When you're on ChatGPT and you first log on, it's gonna look a little something like this. So on this left-hand side, we're still gonna start from top to bottom. If you click this button right here, close sidebar, right? Boom. If you click on this right here, this is where you go to start new conversation. So let's say we start a conversation and we start a new one. Um, and I'll show you in a bit, but this is where we go to start new chats. We're not going to cover explore GPTs in this video, especially because if you're a beginner, this doesn't matter. Just know I can, if you want me to cover a new video on like walking through what are custom GPTs and walking through how to use that, um, let me know down in the comments. I'll make a walkthrough if you guys want. But um, we're going to skip that for today because it's going to get too complicated. All right. And then continue down the left hand side. All these things here are conversations. So just like on your phone, for example, let's say you have text message threads with different people and in which each person you have a different conversation. This is kind of like the same thing. So each time you use ChatGPT, you'll start a conversation and then your conversations will get stored on the left hand side. So it's not one big, you know, chat GPT conversation. It's a bunch of individuals. Now, if you start a conversation and you don't know where, you know, you want to pick up where you left off, let's say you have to leave, let's say you have to stop mid session, you can always go back here. So it kind of pretty much saves for you. And so to keep on going, these four boxes here, they're just conversation starters. You don't honestly have to pay attention to any of them. You don't even have to use any of them. I never use any of them, but so we're going to skip that for today. As I said, you just click on them then it's gonna start a conversation for you. Here's where the most important part is. And this is where you type in all your prompts into ChatGPT. Now, when you think of a prompt, think of it kind of like when you put in an order at a restaurant. The same way your order tells the chef what to make, your prompt tells ChatGPT what to generate. So if you say, write me an email, ChatGPT will write you an email, right? Well, first it's gonna ask me some questions, which is actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Write me an email to my boss saying I want to quit. Boom. And now just like that, ChatGPT will write something for me. Now, if you wanted to stop, all you have to do is, let's say, rewrite. You hit enter or press send right here. And when it's typing, you can just stop it. And you'll see here on the bottom, a couple of little buttons pop up. So I'll walk through from left to right. Left one, read aloud. It'll just read what it typed up for you aloud. Nice and easy. Copy. This will copy everything that ChatGPT generated here so that you could paste it somewhere else. Let's say you're writing video scripts, right? Or let's say you're writing emails, right? And you want to actually paste this into your Gmail account so that you can send this to your boss. You just hit here, copy. So instead of having to highlight this whole thing, you can just click here and it'll do the same thing, right? You can hit regenerate and then it'll regenerate the email. And now here you see, was this a bad response? You can give some, some feedback, right? And then you can change the model. Now with this model stuff, none of that really matters as much. When ChatGPT first came out, like it was GPT-3 if I'm not mistaken. And then GPT-4 came out, 3.5 came out and that was even better. And then four came out and that was even better. Now it's 4.0. And like all the chat GPT four is way better than Windows three was. So it's like, now I'm honestly contemplating whether he's even worth upgrading to the paid plan of chat GPT. Cause with chat GPT four, it's so much better than where it used to be that you honestly don't need to really upgrade honestly. But if you want me to walk, do a video on, you know, showing the pros and cons of, you know, the, the paid plan and if it's worth actually upgrading. Uh, let me know, comment down below, and I'll, I'll make a video on it. But as in, I've been on the paid plan for almost a year now, but I'm honestly starting to consider like going back to the free plan just because ChatGPT4 is already so good. Like, how much better do I need it to be, especially for what, for what I'm doing? I'm not coding or anything like that. But yeah, so anyways, now let me show you with a couple nice little features right? ChatGPT has. So I'm going to go back to my original prompt here. If you go over it, you'll see this little pencil icon. If you click, you can edit your prompt. So let's add some more details, right? Uh, make the email very professional, written in old English and under 40 words. And then I hit send. 
and then chat GPT will rewrite what it says. Boom, nice and easy. And now, so another the cool thing that chat GPT can do is let's say you don't want it to regenerate the whole thing. I can highlight a certain portion and then I can say reply. So the same way you can reply to specific text, you can reply to a specific part in the what chat GPT generated. And I could say, rewrite this sentence, then write the new email, the email with the new edit. And then chat GPT will rewrite everything, but change the specific portion that you highlighted from the first time which is another nice, cool feature that you can have. So instead of having to rewrite the whole thing all over again, let's just say there's a portion you don't like, you can have ChatGPT rewrite that. So another cool thing that you can do with ChatGPT is if you go over here on the left-hand side, the more you start using this, it'll get very disorganized. So if you click on the three dots here, you can actually rename the chat. So let's say I'm gonna type this email to my boss, boom. And now when I log off and next time I come back on, if I want to pick up where I left off, I know I can click here, email to my boss, right? Let's say I leave and I come back, boom, it's still there, easy. Another thing you can do is let's say you don't want to work on this anymore. You can archive this so you can start clearing up a space on this left-hand side and make it more organized. And when you want to get it back, all you have to do is click on the right-hand corner, click on settings, and then click on where it says archives chats, manage, email to my boss. That's what we were just working on. You can either unarchive it, or delete it. So we're gonna unarchive it, boom. And now just like that, we're back where we left off. And then the last thing you could do is you can delete it, so boom. If you delete it, you'll never be able to access again. So make sure you only delete things once you're done or else just archive it. All right, now I'm gonna walk you through a last little bit here. And now that I showed you all the important things you need to know to use ChatGPT, I wanna show you something really cool that ChatGPT announced not too long ago. It's called the memory feature. So the whole problem with ChatGPT originally is that it sounded too robotic, it wasn't personalized, everything sounded too scripted, too perfect, and you could tell that a human didn't write it. And so now ChatGPT has what's called a memory feature. So let's say I say, remember that I help small business owners and real estate agents. Boom, now it says memory updated. And if I click on manage memories, every time I tell ChatGPT something, it'll start storing here. Now. Two things. First, only share information with ChatGPT that you're comfortable sharing. Like don't go out there and share any sensitive or personal information or any passwords, of course, like use some common sense. But also um, the second thing is the more you use ChatGPT, the more it will remember about you and the better it will be able to help you. It was really helping it you know, become more personalized and becoming that assistant that you always wanted. Now, if you already have an assistant and they're using ChatGPT, well, then they're gonna become a super assistant because they're already gonna know a, bunch, a lot about you and they're gonna be able to personalize everything to you. And now you're not gonna have to spend as much time editing, revising, tweaking, adjusting when ChatGPT generates an email or a script or uh, some copy for your landing page or sales page. It's gonna sound a lot more like you from the get-go. And the best thing is, let's say you remember something that you didn't want to remember. You could easily delete it or you can hit clear chat GPT's memory and then it'll erase everything that it has so far. So boom, that's the secret feature. If you're not using it already, there's another feature similar in chat GPT. So if you click on the right, uh, the top right corner, something called customized chat GPT. And this is another feature where you can actually train chat GPT. If you click on it, you can train chat GPT on who you are and what you do. Only thing that sucks about this is it's limited to 1500 characters. Whereas of right now, I'm not sure if the memory is limited or not, but using both in tandem is gonna make your ChatGPT just become like super helpful, super effective and super personalized. Now, if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to train your ChatGPT so it can act as the world's greatest personal assistant, I already made a video and uploaded it on my channel here. You can click here to watch it. If you made it here to the end of the video and you found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Now, if you want help leveraging AI in your business so you can save yourself time, energy, and money, listen, we didn't get into business to be working 24 seven. We got into business so that we can fund our dream lives, hopefully, and you're not gonna be able to do that if you're spending all your time working. And with AI, you'll be able to do twice as much work in less than half the time because it's gonna be able to help you become so much more efficient, so much more effective with everything that you do. If you'd like a little bit more hand-holding, because I know this stuff can get super complicated um, and you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I put the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments for you to apply to work with me. We'll hop on the call, get to know each other a little bit, and if it makes sense, we'll work together. But that's all for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.